Welcome back. Well, I'd like you to meet Susie Stockholm. She uh, lives here in the village. She's, uh, we have her up there as a village artist, and you are. But you also uh, produce a couple segments uh, so far on some local artists as well. So I want to welcome you here. Thank you. And um, we looked at your segments, and as I said earlier, we are going to actually show those in full uh, another day. They're about, uh, I think, about seven to ten minutes long. But we're going to talk about you and uh, the artists that um, you had done the interviews with. So welcome, by the way. Good to have you here. Tell me a little bit about yourself, about uh, your own artwork and your experience uh, doing these uh, videos. Well, I came to Laguna Woods and was ecstatic that there was this huge art room where I could participate and be with other artists. And I do abstract contemporary art, uh, a lot of collaging, uh, using Japanese papers and really oh, okay. whatever I can find. Uh, and then I also do big acrylic paintings with lots and lots of texture. So I've been in a few shows um, in the village as well as outside the village. Are you doing the art affair coming up? Uh, no. Nope, not doing that? Okay. No, not doing that. <laughs> and uh, here is, uh, we're bringing up a, a little bit of your video here. So tell me about how did you decide, I want to interview other artists in the village as well? Well, actually, it had never entered my mind until Scott Marvel, who was the president of the video club, came to me and I thought he wanted to do a segment on me as an artist. Mm -hmm. So I showed him around my studio and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, had all these great stories about how the paintings were created. And as we sat down and talked, he says, I want you to do your own talk show. Very good. And I said, what does that mean? <laughs> So he said, well, just pick somebody you want to interview, like Louise here. I, yeah. I picked her to, um, because she was so fascinating. Uh, and so we did our first, our first video. And it came out uh, fantastic. And interesting thing about Louise here, she uses an iPad. I forgot my iPad today, otherwise I'd hold up one of my art apps. <laughs> but that's what she uses. Mm -hmm. And it's so great to see uh, people in this community using electronic tablets to create art or music or whatever it oh, might yes. be. It's, this is wonderful. Well, the interesting thing about her is that she, she took her iPad to her first art class. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, just, just very courageously mm -hmm. said, this is how I do my art. Yeah. I don't do paper, I don't do pencils or pens. And so she sits in this portrait class um, every week and does not snap a picture and copy over that. Mm -hmm. She just does what every other artist does. Is she, yeah. looks, she looks at the subject, she paints with her iPad, with her finger, not a stylus. She's not even finger. using a stylus, no. wow. No, she's pretty amazing. Yeah, that <laughs> is. And uh, uh, she's using it, obviously, as her, you know, her electronic paper. And I think it's, so, I think it's really wonderful. And the uh, interesting thing about this is that all the different mediums that are available electronically, digitally, on the iPad and or whatever other tablet, if you have an Android tablet, that are out there that can mimic almost any style. Mm -hmm. And there, there are plenty of apps. Like she yeah. and I, she and I use Art Studio. In fact, mm -hmm. she inspired sure. me. That's a good one. To create some digital art, which I've actually um, put in shows. So it's, I mean, it's exciting. It is. You know, how we kind of feed off of each other, you know, with technology. She knows a lot of things I don't know and vice versa. So when we get together, it's not typical of two friends getting together. We always bring our iPads. <laughs> you know, interesting, I was down at uh, the Pageant of mm -hmm. the Masters last night. They had mm -hmm. their media event. And one of the artists down there, although he paints traditionally, he had his iPad there and we were talking about it and what he uses. He uses Art Studio and a, and a couple others, mm -hmm. but he does it with his finger as well. He doesn't use a stylus. He finds it a little bit easier. I've tried using a stylus, but I'm so used to using my finger, and you can expand, you know, you can open the page up so it gets really close, so you right. don't really need a stylus. Like Louise says, you can always expand it and use your finger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, another artist, that you interviewed. Uh, Ellen Rose, tell me about her. Ellen is fabulous. Ellen has been an artist 
for many, many years. And she, she takes on really interesting subjects like vestments, for example, you know, where she will paint priests and nuns and oh, really? ministers and, and, and she wins big prizes for these things. Wow. And she did a circus series where she, uh, which is on the, the uh, one of the segments that I did mm -hmm. uh, with her and you can see her inked people, the ones with tattoos. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and, and but the most interesting thing was she did a, um, she did a series on Laguna Woods women in the nude with masks on. Now, the, is this photography or painting? This is painting. Wow. So she took the photo of all of us. We all agreed to participate. Uh, but you couldn't tell it was us. Right. And then she painted from the photo, but the mask was on, and they were fabulous. Interesting. Yeah, so she's, you know, I, I get excited about her. And then the next one I have coming up is Marge Kinney. And uh, Marge is in Art Affair, and she's been in, I think, all of the festivals. She's a plain air painter, mm -hmm. um, oil painter. But what's fascinating about her is that she's made this commitment to share her expertise in training videos on YouTube, which go all over the world. Wow. Yeah, so I'm really excited about having her on. Um, it'll be in the fall. Now, how do you come across the people that you want to interview? There's so many artists in the village. Do you, are people getting to know you that you do this and uh, soliciting you? We want to be on your, we want to do a segment with you? Well, yes and no. Um, some people don't want to be on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are fabulous and they, no matter what you tell them, you know, like Louise, I had to, I've been telling her she's an artist for a long time now and you'll hear her on that segment discounting herself as an artist. So, you know, there's and she a, clearly is. Yes, and there's a lot of that. So, you know, I would hope that people would approach me, send me an email. Um, mm -hmm. I, you don't necessarily have to be an artist at this point. I'm really interested in people who are up to something really interesting. You know, I don't care about your past. Like, you don't care about my past, mm -hmm. and I know you don't want to hear about it. And, you know, and I don't want to hear about yours. I want to hear about what you're doing right now what your possibility is for your future, what difference you're making, are you having fun, are you bringing joy to people, that's what I'm interested in. Yeah, and I can, I can see that in, uh, in your interviews here. Let's say, if we could, just we'll take a look at, a look at this for uh, you know, maybe a minute or so with the sound, and then we'll uh, okay. come back and discuss a little bit just more. All right. Um, so that's really where I thought gave me the idea that I would like to try to do this. Well, Louise, you've certainly given us a lot to think about, <laughs> and uh, I hope that people will visit you in the Mac studio and uh, learn more about um, your art and more about how to use the program. <laughs> Well, we saw a little bit of that. As I said, we're going to bring you one of those uh, full segments, both of them, and uh, I'm sure your third when that's done as well. Uh, with the video club, are you a member or you're just uh, acting as, as coming on and they produce it for you? I'm a member. Um, actually, I'm a new member. I wasn't a member when we did the segments. Okay. But I'm a member now, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about all the facilities that they have. I mean, the studio is terrific for a retirement community. Um, yeah, they do a good job. They really do, and they have this, you know, they even have a green screen, which, <laughs> yeah. which, which I think is cool, you know. And, um, you know, just a little plug for the video club. I mean, it's only $10 a year to join, and they have people who know a lot more than I do, obviously. Look at this, you know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's $10 a year to join. They're open Tuesday through Friday from 1 to 4. Uh, it's, and they're just really nice people. They have an iMovie class starting this week. That's a good thing to learn. Yeah. It is. I want to mention how to get a hold of Susie before I forget. And you can get a hold of her through the video club. The email is videoclublw at gmail.com. I have it up there. And then your website is talkwithsusie.com. Yes. So either one of those, you can get a hold of her. 
Well, as we know, coming up in Laguna, all the art shows are starting up in about a month. I think the um, Sawdust is June 27th, if I'm not mistaken, and then about a week later, the Pageant of the Masters and Festival of the Arts. You're going to go down and of course and go down there. Maybe <laughs> you'll uh, you know find somebody down there you'll want to talk to and do a little segment down there. That is so good. One of the things I want to do with the show is I want to be able to go on the road with it. Oh, that'd be great. So if once I learn from the video club how mm -hmm. to use my camera, I can, um, you know, then I can just talk to people while I'm down there right in front of them. That would be a lot of fun. I would love that. Yeah, and we're yeah. going to have uh, artists that come up uh, there. Uh, I believe the second week of July, we start having the artists come on once a week, and uh, oh. it's always fun to have those on. They bring up all their artwork and That's wonderful. Things. So yeah. you can come by and, and meet them. And um, your next one, as you said, is going to be uh, Marge Kinney, and uh, she, um, she uses a lot of technology herself, correct? She does. You know, I was she. I I found out that she did the YouTube videos by uh, going to uh, a monthly presentation at the video club, mm -hmm. and she was presenting. And they have this huge, big TV screen where you can, you know, you can show your goodies up there. And and she talked about how she did her videos, and it was just, it was really great. That's wonderful. The, the, the people that are living here are uh, just embracing all the new technology and uh, moving and forward it. and sharing it exactly and yet all the traditional artists that are here as well which is equally is important and uh, I think that's I think that's wonderful I think you're doing great work Thank this you. is fantastic that you're showcasing these artists that live in the village and uh, we look forward to seeing more of them as I said we'll bring you uh, these segments and um, uh, we'll have more from uh, Susie as time goes on. So thank you very much for thank coming on the show. And again, email videoclublw at gmail.com. And in the uh, subject matter, if you want to get hold of Susie, just put her name, just say for Susie, and they'll get it to her. Or her website is talkwithsusie.com. You can go on there and get some information as well. I'm sure you get a lot of people now. I yes, want you to do there you. do a segment. Thanks for having me. We've enjoyed it. Nice yes. to meet you. It's a pleasure. We'll be back in just a moment.